You'd like to continue our tale? The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Allows the bard to train his dog in the fine art of combat. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to train his dog in the fine art of combat.
Ooh, that had to hurt. Stay down!
Take that! Impossible! Curse
Don't... Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Let's have a look at your armor, then. It's a fact. A warrior's only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of forks are both. Nah, not worth my time. I could use a new melee weapon. This is where we have our close combat weapon. Can you tell me about this? Ah, the mighty flail. Six pounds of pain on a chain with... Not interested. Let me see something else. See you, old man. Things have been quiet around here lately, and we've got you to... And so the bard arrived in Kirkwall, a peaceful and quiet town. The place seemed oddly familiar, and he would soon learn why. Oh, my lord! I don't believe it. I truly don't believe it! Do my eyes deceive me? One can only hope. So much for peaceful and quiet. Oh, my eyes speak the truth. My love has indeed returned. Although you vowed to return to my arms, time had cast doubt upon my heart. It's been so long since that magical night. I'm truly sorry, milady, but I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. Someone less handsome, I'm sure. I get that all the time. Oh, surely you jest. That moonlit night, in the barn, up in the loft. You said you loved me. You said it was the most passionate moment you'd ever experienced. Can you be more specific? I get a lot of that too. Look, I'm sorry. I don't remember you, which means one of two things. Either we never met, or that night was just magical for one of us. Well, I've never been so insulted in all my life. Think hard. I'm sure you have. When my father finds out... You'll get what's coming to you. You're nothing but a... a beast. That obviously didn't bother you before. You'll pay. I swear to you, you will pay. I already have. I must get myself a chastity belt. Keep me out of trouble on such desperate nights. You'd do all the world a favor if you threw away the key. I'm looking for a man named Bove. Have you seen him? Bove? You're looking for Bove? Look, everyone! It's another chosen one!
Excuse me. Do you know where I might find one bove? Aye. I be one bove. And may I ask who you be? I'm a weary traveller in need of a small favour. I've been sent here from Houghton by one of your brothers. I was told you would have some music that might be of interest to me. It will be my pleasure to assist you. But first, how do I know you speak the truth about that coming you from Houghton? what I say is true. OK. Here's what you do. Go down this street and you'll find the real Bove. Your name isn't Bove? Of course it is. Why would I lie about that? But you said... I'm Bove. I'm just not a Bove you want. It's not like I've cornered the market on the name Bove. I'm not too fond of your attitude. Good. That means I've done as intended. Now just take yourself that way and you'll find who you need. Just ask for Bove and tell him Bove sent you. Look who it is, Sean. It's the Bard. The Bard? I don't know any... Oh, the Bard! Do I know you two? Do you know us? You don't remember Finstown? Finstown, you say? Ah. Can't say I've ever been there. Never been there? Why, you... You're the hero of Finstown, Bard. I am? He is. Certainly. You remember Finstown, right? Why, there's a big reward just waiting for you. Oh, you mean Finstown. Of course, of course. Sorry, I get that hero bit a lot, you know. You do? Please, pardon my brother. He often lacks manners. Just head over to Finstown and they're bound to give you your reward. The good people have been dying to see you again. Of course. I'll head over there when I'm able. Very good. We'll notify them that you're on your way. Let's be on our way, brother. How nice to see you again. I've missed you. Enough to help me? Of course not. Have a nice day. Uh, excuse me, are you both by any chance? And uh, who's asking? Just a simple and confused traveller who's been sent here to ask your assistance. Oh, but we're not here to confuse, I assure you. Just tell me what you need. Thank goodness. Just teach me the magic you know and I'll thank you and be on me way. Oh, 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 you want the magic, Bov. Well, why didn't you say so? You better be joking. If only I were, my friend. I wish I could help you, but you want the bove down the street. Try to be more specific next time. Uh, maybe my blade can be more specific. Well, don't be angry with me because of your lack of communication skills. Move along. Bove is waiting. Uh, and, and tell him, bove, said hello. With pleasure. So in a moment of déjà vu, the bard walked off to meet bove. So in a moment of déjà vu... The bard walked off to meet Bove. Very funny. I don't know. I have a cut. You're a dog after me own heart. Poor... Poor... Poor Connor. He should count himself lucky.
Oh, 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 oh. Who the hell are you? Get out of here! Oh, oh. Leave me alone to wallow in sorrow. Sorry, I didn't know this was the ladies' room. That shopkeeper kicked me out of his store when I asked if I could buy something on credit. I'm sorry. You've obviously wandered into what you believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. What have you got in the way of shields and armour? You want armour? You do realise that we don't sell on credit here. Nah, not worth my time. Show me your swords and flails. We sell only the finest melee weapons here. Much too expensive for you. Let me see something else. I'd like to see your bows. Bows? You couldn't even afford the string. Can you tell me about this? Very nice, very accurate, very powerful, and most likely very unobtainable for a man in your position. It costs nothing to dream, however, but it will cost you some... Yeah, I'll take that off your hands. It must have been very difficult to give up your life savings, but if this saves your life, I suppose it's worth it. On the other hand, I may be overvaluing your life. That is a very nice bow. See you, old man. There's a shop in Houghton that you might be able to afford. Are you enjoying our fair town? I'm sure seeing enough of it. Care to show me more? I'm sorry, tours are only twice weekly. Come back tomorrow. I'm almost afraid to ask this, but, uh... Is your name Bove? That's the name I go by. And what do you call yourself? Call me frustrated, but I'm hoping you can end this vicious circle I'm caught up in. Oh, you poor man. If Nick, only I had the course. slightest bit of sympathy that for was a frustrated, an weary stranger You're taking up my than you precious appear. time. Bright enough that I'm no, sure you can, can seek out my question. friend Bove down the street. He has a soft spot for simpletons such as yourself. Make sure you tell him I said hello. You both? Yes. Please, please help me. I'm sorry. The law around these parts forbids begging. Maybe one of my other friends will give you a breadcrumb or two. Move along. <laughs> 